Hello, and I'm back. I've been gone now for about a week. I've been rearranging my apartment, cleaning, working on some things, and doing my best to get everything situated so that I can get back into drawing and doing my doodles. So, for the past week, I've been busy doing other things as well, which I will be covering in upcoming videos here very soon. Some of the videos are going to be a surprise about some of my life changes that will be coming uh, to my channel and to my drawing. Nothing bad, only good, very good things, and I have a lot to talk about, but I'll be saving that for another video. But as of right now, um, I'm a little bit hungry, and I'm getting ready to sit down and do a doodle. And I want to do it with a Lamy Safari fountain pen, which I'm doing in this video, as you can see. I'm drawing what looks like leaves and vines. Uh, I like how the Lamy Safari is very smooth in the paper, and the, it just really takes the ink on the paper. Now, with other pens, I think the issue with some of them is that you can't draw at an angle, so if I want to kind of relax my hand more, and draw in a more relaxed position, then I can do that. If I want to um, be sitting in a different position while I'm drawing, I can just kind of lean over with my arms stretched out, listening to a podcast or some music, and do a doodle that way. But, yeah, that's all right now. Um, so what happened today? For me, I did a lot of cleaning, and my vacuum actually wasn't working. I took the, I had to fix the belt on it. The little belt on the inside of the vacuum, it came off. And I had to uh, reattach it. But first, uh, before I could even get to it and do that, I had to take the whole vacuum part. There's a bunch of little screws and things that go together that hold the bottom part of the vacuum on there. And inside the vacuum, there's this part that has like these little bristles on it and the bristles are on this um uh, big plastic round cylinder piece and that's attached to uh there's this huge rubber um belt that attaches from that to this little piece of metal that sticks out and there's tension on it and when i push the uh on button for the vacuum a little, the small pedal, um, it was working, and then all of a sudden it wasn't picking up any dirt or anything at all. And so I unplugged the vacuum and looked inside, took all the screws apart, and I seen that little part where the rubber belt had become detached, and uh, I put it back on, and then it did the same thing again within five minutes. So I spent another half hour taking it apart, putting it back together again, and then it did the same thing. So I set it aside, and then for about a week, my apartment um, was very messy all over the entire floor. Um, things accumulated very quickly. And so then, today, I came home and I realized that there was two little tiny screws they hold in this piece, the top, that is on the left side of the vacuum. Um, they weren't stained. They weren't stayed. They didn't stay tightened very well. So I got my screwdriver and tightened them better, and made sure it wasn't coming loose. Made sure the belt was on there and everything. And then I uh, checked everything, went over it a couple of times, and then plugged the vacuum back in made sure the uh, bristles and the cylinder and all that was spinning the belt stayed on and then i unplugged it and i checked it again just to make sure and the belt didn't move it still stayed on there and then i vacuumed it i it the vacuum i have has this big plastic cylinder it's clear it's see-through it's like this tank part of the vacuum that you can see into it and it was filled with all kinds of dirt and everything from my carpet I probably emptied that 30 to 40 times um, 
each room I emptied it about 10 times. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think of which room I did the most emptying. Probably my kitchen. I had to do that a lot. So I had to vacuum my bedroom, my kitchen, my living room. And then I have uh, my steps, which is also carpeted. But it's kind of hard to vacuum steps when the vacuum I got isn't a small vacuum. It's kind of a medium size, large maybe. And I think it's called uh, Dirt Devil is the name of the vacuum that I have. And uh, so I was using it and I seen the steps and I thought, you know, it's going to be way too inconvenient to try to vacuum that um, with all the different angles and everything. So I got my broom and then I swept every single little piece I could. Like I started from the very top step and I would sweep everything from the carpet down to the next step and then down to the next step and on and on. There's maybe uh, probably 20 steps from my door leading up to my apartment. So 20 times I had to sweep from one step to the next one. And I continued doing that until I got to the very bottom. And then I got to my door. And there was a bunch of leaves down there. I had to vacuum up. Uh, almost said vacuum. I didn't vacuum it. <laughs> you wouldn't want to vacuum the leaves up. Uh, vacuum pub wouldn't work then. It'd, everything would be blocked. But I then uh, sweeped all the leaves outside. Um, and then sweeped what was left from the steps into a pile, sweep that outside, sweep that into my um, dustpan, empty that into my trash can, which is right right beside my porch, and then swept off the porch, and then took some of my trash out. And I've got my bedroom, my living room, my kitchen, and my bathroom floors cleaned, but I still have to do my dishes, clean off my kitchen table, clean my stove, clean the surfaces and my tub on the sink in my bathroom. I think most of the cleaning I have left is probably my bathroom and my dishes. Although I think the bathroom is actually a little bit more because I've got to clean all the surfaces in the tub and the sink and the mirror. Whereas my kitchen is just dishes and I don't have that many dishes anymore. Because I got sick of having so many. That I actually gave a bunch of them away. Um, and um, I had so many dishes to clean one time. And I live by myself. I don't have a lot of things to clean. Like, I, I let me rephrase that. I shouldn't have that many things to clean. Being that I live by myself. But I did. Because I had a hundred bowls, like a hundred plates like 100 cups, like 500 silverware, forks and butter knives and spoons. So I got rid of all of that. But now I do have a problem. I have one bowl. But sometimes, I'm using that bowl for something else as a container in my fridge. It's a ceramic or a glass bowl. And I don't want to microwave anything in plastic, which isn't good to do. So I think I need to get a second bowl. Um, all the things that I gave away, I did have bowls, but they were really tiny. Um, I like to have bowls that are bigger because I eat quite a bit. So, it's kind of like the commercials that I've seen before, like a cereal commercial. Um, and they're holding a bowl of cereal and it's like, there's like an actual measure of just one cup of like cereal in there. Um, I, I mostly eat oatmeal for breakfast. With some cinnamon, strawberries, and blueberries, and cut up banana. But you look in the commercial, and they have a very tiny little bit of cereal in that bowl. And like, their their hand is bigger than the bowl. I'm like, how is that one serving? It's like one fiftieth of a serving to me. Like, when I used to eat cereal, I, I very rarely eat cereal anymore. And if I do... It's plain shredded wheat, nothing else added to it. So, if I do eat, uh, say I buy a box of shredded wheat, and it's 16 ounces, one pound. When I make a bowl of shredded wheat to eat, 
one box lasts me two days, and that's it. Because one bowl is half the box. And then I add my blueberries, and then my strawberries and bananas, and my cinnamon, and then I add the milk. I always add the milk last, because if you um, add the milk, like if you, if you put the cereal in, and then do the milk, and then put your blueberries and strawberries and all that stuff in, banana, when you're cutting it, putting in there, um, when it hits the milk, it's going to splash and make a mess. So... Always do the cereal first. So put your cereal in. Then after you put your cereal in, wash your uh, fruits that you're cutting up for it. So wash your blueberries, strawberries, and banana. And then cut those up. And then add them to the bowl. And then once you're done with that, add the cinnamon. And then add your milk after that. At one point when I used to work at a different job, I actually saved all the boxes of cereal that I had ate for the wheat over the course of a year and a half. And I, no exaggeration, I must have had 400 boxes. I don't know. I didn't realize I ate that much. But I was making a lot better money at that job. So I kind of slightly splurged at some things, um, such as my camera equipment, which I use for production and well, productive things and drawing, photography and time lapse recordings and video. But I like the convenience of it because times when I was hungry, like I would be really hungry late at night and I wanted something to eat real quick. But I eat pretty healthy, but I wanted something that tasted good. So I would make a bowl of cereal with a tiny bit of blueberries and strawberries. But I made sure not to eat too late so I didn't get an upset stomach. Um, well, I actually never really had that problem, I think of it. I know a lot of other people do, but I don't know. It never really bothered me. For example, I can eat a huge meal, and if I'm going to bed at midnight, I can eat a huge meal at 11.45. Actually, let me take that back a little bit, because I have to brush my teeth. So let's say I eat a huge meal at 11, or 11.15. I'm done eating the food at 11.15. I wait until 11.45, brush my teeth, and then go straight to bed. And I lay down at midnight. I don't have any problems. Like, I can fall right to sleep. If anything, I have a whole really hard time sleeping if I'm hungry. Um, because then I'll just lay there really tired, and I can't sleep. And then I'll wake up if I am... Uh, Laying there or sleeping for an hour or two, I'll just wake up and then I'll then I'll get something to eat. So I, I might as well eat something. But anyways, I'm going to go make myself some food and work on some more doodles. But in the meantime, don't forget to subscribe and share this with your friends and give the video a like. But until then, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching, and as always, you have a great day. Later.